Hello and welcome to the Gage Look, and we're back with EU4, Europa Universalis, and the Make America Great to start with, or the Huron Great to start with, because I don't think I'll ever be able to be America. I don't think. Recover Alexandria. That is what we should do. So, as always, if you've been following this, you probably know what's going on. We're slowly colonising east. We're going to make up this land, and we'll colonise a little bit south. We're a bit stuck, guys. As you probably know, we cannot get institutions at all. We can't embrace, which is very, very painful. Very upsetting as well. And we cannot reform religion or change government or pretty much anything, really. So I think we'll just get started. Not much is happening for us. We're trading in fur, trading in tobacco, and trading in livestock. Your reports that the trims were okay fine thank you so we can afford three colonies at the same time we were doing four for a while but we've actually spent five thousand ducats doing that rome's collapsed we started an extended timeline mod as you all probably know but it's been about 520 years or so the goths seem to have taken over the gepids take over. oh rome is back interesting oh i really want to see Leinster is powerful, so Ireland must have most of Scotland and England, I think. Uh, France seems to have formed, or Francia seems to have formed. I suppose that's not so much France. We've got Rome. Now, our development would put us in fourth place immediately, but um, we're so, so far behind on technology that that is not going to happen anytime soon. We are getting the best possible advisors at the moment and still making money, which is nice. We're not making huge amounts of money, and we do need to keep our in our um, army maintenance up full because we can't deal with the natives otherwise. We are significantly ahead of time on technology, but it's more or less irrelevant. Uh, it's an omen, sure. Let's just boost. I believe we've embraced. Well, not embraced, but we are spreading all institutions now. Yeah, we are. Amazing. Obviously, we're playing on an older version because we started on this before the last DLC. So there is a few problems, a few graphical glitches and things. And we are using a couple of mods as well that weren't designed now for this version. So it's all being a bit a bit awkward. 100 population in Micmac. Okay, so Micmac is almost a colony. Where is our other colony? Where is this one? Okay, if we can recall that there. And we will stick you in there just so nobody comes, because that would annoy me. I just imagine the Shawnee popping in there. So our land's starting to look quite nice. Wally Stook. So we've got four colonies, obviously, right now. Another great advisor's gone. National tax modifier, sure. Come on, Micmac, tick over. Now, would any of these technologies give us anything? Probably not. We're not too far away from a global settler increase, which would be very nice. It probably won't happen. Improve relation, it's always nice. It's it's a bit stressful, this, I'll be honest. It, uh it's taken a lot longer than I would like it to do. I never really researched, as always, what would happen, and we can't reform. We basically need to be in European contact. That is the crux of the matter. Okay, Willie Stook is going to be our next colony. Let's just wait a wee while. Okay, got some tax. Thank you very much. Our economy is relatively strong, but I've had a little bit of a problem with trade can't put the trade where I want it to be. So we are earning 18 there, which is very nice. But I can't actually reach there because it says I'm miles away from it, even though it's it's right there, so I don't really understand that. And we also can't place this merchant anymore, even though we could before. Which is also frustrating. Pass McQuaddy. Almost that. I think we're just going to have to keep slowly colonising, you know. I might go down, once I've colonised this, I might go down just to two colonies just to start making some serious money again because when we run into the Europeans, 
Although we've got tech advantage, we're going to have to embrace every institution. And there is a lot of institutions because this is extended timeline. It's going to cost an awful lot of money. But hopefully we'll spread them around quite well before then. We have every institution available now spreading from our capital and, well, actually from Bostock, not our capital. A little soon be in our capital. Uh, let's just do that, it's fine. Okay, so pass McCoddy, a reasonable suggestion, sure. Let's keep that prestige high. Is it you that's got it? Yeah, so recall that. Send it there. And that's really it for the, the mega colonies up here now, isn't it? I mean, we will colonise these these lands, of course, but just one at a time, I think. I want to make money again. We're in the migration age. But, I mean, none of this really helps us. Can't do a mission because they're all ridiculous. Maybe we should just select one. Sure. Oh! Oh, wait. Nice. We, uh... Okay. Well, that's a decent mission. Can actually use one. Anything we want here? Uh, missionary, trade efficiency, global trade power. Yeah, let's go for global trade power. We, we really aren't... We don't need points that much, so... We've got a fairly significant armed forces, which is nice. Uh, military technology crew. Yes. We should be able to get that. I think we can store like two and a half thousand. Yeah, we can. So we'll just keep ticking away. We can't build ships at all by the looks of it, which means. I mean, I don't know what it means. I think we're going to have to wait till the Europeans get to us, which is a terrifying prospect. Because it's going to be a very, very long time. Okay, I'm going to make you into 10,000 because you're taking too long. You're the colonial, so we'll stick you up there. Come on, we're almost there. I still don't have... I know there's quite a few people watching this series, so thank you very much, guys. Um... I still don't know how I'm going to speed up the process because I can't build ships. I'm moving as far east as possible. Hopefully I'll be able to see... Maybe I can see something like the Greenland. and Maybe maybe there's something up there. Maybe I, maybe I should beeline that way. Maybe I should. Might be worth thinking about. Got anything else? Defend the motherland, northern border. I mean, none of this is going to help me. Drive back the Turk. I mean, what is all this? Do you want to give me one? <laughs> yeah, none of these are going to work for me. Right, just go away just now. Hopefully there will be missions eventually for me. Uh, lose the money, please. Okay, tax modifier. I suppose we should spend some development, make sure our provinces are all at 10 or more. I don't want 20 because I get the plague and they lose up to 9, which is not worthwhile. Fire successful, local production efficiency, fantastic. So how is our institutions looking? So the dark green is where the serfdom is. Obviously it's going to take a while to spread around. But we are spreading. The reason I moved my capital, two reasons. Um, it was Huron before, is it borders four provinces, although Huron, to be fair, did border five, but it's more centrally bordering four provinces. You could argue that something like that would have been better, but the coast helps as well, so that is the reason why we've got that there. So where's our colonist? He's in there. New settler chance? Not a lot. I am a large tribe. Amazing. Um, I mean, I don't care. Do I have... I still have a vassal, don't I? 
Ottawa, but they're miles away. What about you guys? You don't want to be vassalized at some point. So I could do with touching base with some traders. And I can't reach them. Not too far away that, at least. I think it's because I moved my trade city. Probably messed that up. But, um... Oh, sorry if you heard that noise. I believe that was a new subscriber, so... Thank you to whoever subscribed was watching this. Or not watching this whilst recording this, I suppose. Okay. New settlement. Uh, game one base tax. Yep, fantastic. By fire, sure. So that is my capital. It's level 32. Native Ryzen's. I mean, I'd, I'm tempted to get all these up to maybe 19 around there. Let's do that. I don't want to get it to um, 20 because the walls suffer. So there we go. They're at 19. I'll reinvest in Merrimack every time to keep it above level 30. I've got four diplomats, which seems a bit overkill, but it's fine. I'm trading in paper. I think I will, you know, make a beeline for Greenland. I don't I don't know if that will help too much, but there is a chance that they might arrive in Iceland. I wonder if I can colonise there. That's too far away. I can probably colonise there and then there. The problem I've got is if there's anybody rises up, it'll be impossible to deal with them. I suppose I can colonise that. Yeah, I can do it like that. How is our culture changes, actually? They're very expensive, aren't they? Uh, yeah, it's fine. I don't really care. The chances are the little dudes around me are ahead of me, technologically, but it really doesn't matter that much. Yeah, they are ahead of me already. I'll keep the military tech up, but I don't care, honestly. <laughs> So we'll hopefully get these provinces actually, these colonies done. They seem to be going quite smoothly. It's not always the case. So what are you up to? Because you're not defending a colony for me. Okay, so if you guys go back there then. You're definitely not a colony, nope. Okay, so now I've only got one army of... 5,000, which is fine. And that is in Ashwaka, Madawaska. Amazing, amazing name. Point new diplomats. No, let's just take the. Oh, I went for the worst one. Was it even looking? Got ring armor. Ring armor was believed to be a leather or textile item. Clothing or large metal rings. Sounds fair enough. Trade efficiency plus one. Colonial range. Trade range. Number of ideas. A million miles away. I even wondered about ideas, but I don't really have any that will help me too much. Galley slaves, merchants. I'm not sure that would help at all for me. Can't do anything about my religion. I'd be very happy to accept a new religion. Anything. Sunny, Coptic, Catholic. You name it, orthodox, even confusion would probably do it. Never actually used it before, but I feel like it would work. We shall see. Oh, I can upgrade my military tech. Not that it matters that much, but let's do it. Infantry shock. I'm so far ahead, look at that. Um, yeah, just lose the money, that's fine. Diplotech. By network construction. More or less irrelevant, but why not? I'm starting to make seven a turn with three full advisors. Now, advisors are cheap when you're a, a native, which is nice. I wonder if anybody would be vassalized by me. Yeah, let's just get the last one that doesn't like me that much. Um, offer vassalization. So the Shawnee would, and so would the Illinock. So you're the Shawnee and you're the Illinois. 
neither are worth it. Sorry, folks, but that is the truth. But you know what? I can get another alliance, so let's just do it. And can we... What are you doing? Okay, you stay with Miami. We don't care about Ottawa. Improve relation. Let's vassalize you. Let's get a little bit more income, I suppose. Ottawa might eventually come close to me. And I bet I don't have um, 200 by that point. So what do I have going on? Let's do own subject countries and what is this all about? Why do I care about that? So we're doing that for a very long time. Defences are compromised, just lose the money. Yeah, let's annex you, you little bugger. Guarantee. I mean, army tradition doesn't really matter for me. Oh, what happened there? Why did that go for so far down? Hmm. Advisor, morale of armies, that's very good for me. Although I won't be in a war anytime soon. Well, I might be. I am considering attacking Miami. But we can't fabricate claims, so I would need a decent reason to fight them. They're in my federation and things. I think the plan now is to try and get to Greenland. I don't think I can, but if we can get f as far east as possible, we can get this land. Um, can't quite make it on that, but we'll be able to make it, hopefully, after that. That is a coastal province, isn't it? Uh, what have we got? We have yearly prestige, sounds nice. And let's get a boost. Babbling buffoon, indeed. Let's check out the institution growth. Um, maintain diplomat. So the, I'm not getting close enough to you guys, that is a shame. What can I give you? Can I give you a gift? I'll do it. Let's vassalize you little buggers, shall we? Nice. Shawnee has left our federation. That's because there are puppets. Um, just take the prestige, doesn't matter. And I can't grant you provinces. Now, that is interesting because I would like you to stop moving. It's like, for example... Could I... Where is it? Recall from there. Then... Could I send it there? Could send it there. And then could I give you... Could I give you that? Because I'd like to give you that. Shawnee. Because that means you'll stop moving around. No, you won't take that. We're going to lose money for a while. You know what? Let's just lose money for a while. We can afford it. Of course you've moved. That's actually almost the perfect right angle, so I'll probably do that anyway. Oh. Micmac. Don't need to do that anymore, we'll do it. Four colonies on the go in 593. Let's check out the great power. Rome is getting a little bit stronger. I'd like Rome to reform properly, that'd be nice. Where is... Oh, oh, that's still a colony. I never even noticed. Oh, God, that'd be a pain. There we go. Oh, the Shawnee just jumped away. God damn it. 
you know what let's just recall that can we abandon it now yeah. game one base tax rigorous research thank you very much where are we on technology anyway almost got despotism despot i don't know how to pronounce it i know it is but i don't know how to pronounce it writing not embraced i know gain 50 prestige thank you very much Institutions. It's not, it's not spreading very quickly, is it? I suppose it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got a little bit extra. That's nice. We are significantly far ahead on that. Famine in Merrimack, and that is because we were, o were over 20. Be nice if you were at 30. We'll ignore it just now though, let us catch up on colonies for a while and some money. I didn't actually realise this was still a colony here. So we've got two vassals. We'll make anyone else a vassal, we must have another ally. So we've got Potswani. You wouldn't vass. Where are you anyway? Smugglers running rampant. Eh, just stop them. It's not a problem. Okay. You're never going to vassalize, are you? Okay, nice. How's the cultures looking anyway? Huron. Almost completely Huron, apart from Avenatki down here. Let's get our Diplotech and then we'll do another round of culture changes. Six, six, six. Madawaska. Yeah, if you can uh, send it there, speed that up. A new settlement, Madawaska. Nice. development, there's nothing to be scuffed at. Holy smoke, sure. Native assimilation, sure. Anything to speed up this colonization drama. It's taking a wee while. Come on now. Let's get to the year 600. I'd like these colonies to come before the episode is over. Um, sure. I've never had such free points before. I'm hesitant to spend it on... Well, if they start completely full, I will spend them on development. When will I get new soldiers? Level 28? I oh, know that wasn't soldiers, was it? Cavalry's a long way away. You are, yeah, level 28. Spear throwers, plumed warriors. Oh, great. There's another institution that I don't have. Amazing. Um, where's the cheapest place? Level 19. Andrew Gosson, level 19, so we can spend it, admin and military points. That goes up at 3.5%. Hmm. Okay, we did pretty well there. I mean, I don't necessarily need these institutions, because I can't embrace them, but I like the idea of being ready. Even though being ready, you know, we could, we could be talking, pff, could we be talking a thousand years before we're ready? I don't think so, though. I'm hoping something will happen before then. I even was thinking about cheating to, well, not cheating, cheating, but maybe triggering an event that would allow, but I couldn't find anything that would allow me to reform my religion. I physically just need Europeans to be around me. 
Come on, Diplotech. I don't even mind falling behind technology a little bit, you know. So once we get that level 21, we'll just invest as much as possible. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That is very, very good for me. Probably the best I've seen, actually. Please tell me he's young. Oh. He's 29. Nice. Don't care about diplomatic reputation. Global settler increase. Nice, nice, nice. I know it's sad to get so excited. Oh, look. I've got an actual... Didn't even click that, but it worked. Okay, so we're going to call it an episode there, folks. I will save it just now. We will come back to this very soon. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Again, I'm really looking for suggestions how I could speed up the whole reformation. Well, not reformation, but reforming, changing from a tribe, etc., etc. Anyway, I'll see you for the next one, folks. Thank you and goodbye.